on today's message everything that happens to us that doesn't feel so good is designed to bring us closer to god not away from god you know sometimes in life life just kind of hits us and you know we we feel like we want to run away from god or we don't understand god or we don't you know what i'm saying we try to figure god out and we can't you know sometimes we get mad at god you know and it happens just because of our perception you know that's why god said you know for us not leaning to our for us not to lean into our own understanding that's proverbs 3 and 5 um, but Job 13 and 15, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. So what is that saying? So yesterday, you know, um, I talked about, you know, saying what's happening to you has nothing to do with what you did. And so, you know, you might be saying, well, you saying, though he slay me, I'm talking about God. Um, sometimes we feel like God is slaying us, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we feel like, you know, saying it's just our fault, you know what I'm saying? But if you do. You know, saying they're saying that, you know, we'll maintain your ways before him. John 15 and 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and I appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. So God chose you. I mean, he sent Jesus on the cross, you know, saying well before. You know, saying we got on this earth, you know, saying well before we did, we did, you know, you might did something last night, you know, you might be thinking of doing something later on, you know, saying, but, you know, that's not giving us a license to just do whatever. But, you know, sometimes we do, you know, we don't do perfectly, don't do it. You know, we make mistakes. And, you know, God is a God of grace and mercy. You know, that's why he wants us to come closer to him. You know, Ephesians 1 and 4. Again, he said he chose us in him before the creation of the world, before to be holy and blameless in his sight and in love. Ephesians 2 and 10. For we are God's workmen created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance as our way of life. First Thessalonians 5 and 18 says, <clears throat> be thankful in all circumstances. You know, what that means is, you know, you can be thankful. There's always something to be thankful about. You know, God is, you know, showing me how to always try to find a negative in the positive, you know, fi find a um, positive out of a negative situation or whatever like that. To always be thankful. You know, yeah, you might, you know, something might happen, but it could be worse. You know, saying there's always a lot that you can be grateful for. And that's what God is trying to do. You know, one thing I learned in this life, you know, people be like, oh, man, I wish I had your faith or, you know, I wish I could do what you do. One thing I learned is that. As I older I get, the more I need God, you know, saying the more I understand, the more I need him. Trust me. That's why, you know, I try to train myself to say, you know, I try to be stay humble. You know, that's why when people say, oh, I'm glad, you know, what you did or this word was just right for me or anything like that. And people even say, you know, they cry tears of joys. You know, first thing I do is I say, yes, sir. Amen. Glory to God. You know, what I'm saying I try to give God credit, you know. And I don't give myself credit, you know, because that's God's spirit residing in me to to give words of encouragement to those. Um, so, but yeah, you know, like I said, one thing, if I can teach you something um, from my own personal experience is that um, draw closer to him no matter what it is. And he'll help you and he'll continue to clean you up. You know, he'll continue to get, the, you know, better, you know, say make you better. You know, Philippians 1 and 6, it says being confident of this, that God who began a good work. And us will finish it to completion. So God is going to continue finishing and working inside you, you know, saying and whatever. Again, moral of the story is, you know, saying everything that happens to us, that doesn't feel so good. is designed to bring us closer to God, not away from God. Even if you feel like you don't belong, you know, even if you feel like, you know what, God, I did this. Or I just did this. or I did it again. Keep coming back to God. Love you. all God bless.